Your transmission established. This is Keeper. We may speak freely, Agent. Prepare to receive your orders. I'm ready, sir. What's the assignment? In short, subversion. You were chosen for this operation because of your exemplary performance during training. Imperial intelligence needs agents capable of working independently in the field. Now you apply your training to the real world. Nemro the Hutt and his organization run Jaguna and you're in town to convince Nero to supply the Empire. I understand. How do I proceed? We need to know what Nero and his advisors are thinking before we can act. I want you to obtain access to the Nero clan's inner circle. You require a cover identity. One of our contacts, an alien named Jig, has prepared a background for you and will provide the details. How do I find him? Jig will be waiting for you at a safe house. Locate him, take what he offers, then report to me. Consider it done. Most of Jaguna is caught up in a turf war. Some of the gangs involved belong to the huts. Others are independent. Your combat training should see you through, but expect brutality and expect to be targeted. Jaguna isn't friendly to strangers. Now, find Jig and report back to me. Keep her out. Can spare a minute. Come, 
Dabita wana wanda Konchuta Kasu ya likura Tokadiko I'll see what I can do. Rodonomales, smogas torulgis babo apiatai. I'm listening, continue. Vataranai angomis akananon, alas protas era. Gratai aptiti, irprit virtini savasia salvebe kaijis. If there's another red blade out there, won't that be a problem? Small seal popudus mana ira padare mana nan kali. Vataranai angomis akananon, alas protas era. What kind of interference? Acrodo nomales, smogas total gis babo apiatai. Gratai aptiti, irprit virtini savasia salvebe kaijis. Let's make this fast and quiet then. Atrodo nomales, smogas total gis babo apiatai. Vataranai angomis akananon, 
Alas Trotas era. Sio teisek la prasma era. Adra vimos brandimos prostis kad atveritag. What exactly are these gifts? Gratai aptipti irprit virtini savasia savebe kaigis. Vataranai angomis akananon alas protas era. Jig. From this point forward, operational security will be at a premium. You will not contact us from this terminal again. Small seal popudus mana ira patare mana nan kali. I understand you corrected Jeek's mishandling of the situation, Agent. We'll now proceed. Acknowledged and understood. Your next task is to access Nemo's inner circle. Present yourself to the hut as a fellow gangster, the Red Blade, and offer him Jig's gifts. One of the gifts is implanted with a listening device, which we will use to monitor conversations within Nemro's palace. Are you listening for something specific? At this juncture, our primary goal is to find weaknesses in Nemro's organization. Even if the hut won't join us, we might influence his lieutenants. Talk to Nemro and his men. Determine who we can turn and how we can sway them. We will be listening. In that case, I'd better watch my mouth. I expect my ears can handle it, Blade. Be careful what you say, and lose the accent. When you're in the hot palace, you're no longer an Imperial. Contact me from the cantina once Nemro has his presence. Keep her out. No, no, don't say anything yet. Play it casual. I'm an old girlfriend and we're getting reacquainted. A mutual friend thinks it's important that you acquire some new skills and weaponry. I've arranged a contact in Jaguna to get you started. Now pretend we're all caught up and leave, casually. 
Now I remember why we haven't talked for so long. You're a complete witch. Watch your mouth, Blade. Even you can be gotten to. The pirate's on his way. Security droids say he's armed, but he won't be trouble. Let's hope not. Here he is now. I'll go tell the boss. This is Carol's. Tell the throne room that the Blade's arrived. When Nemro shows, stay at least five meters back and don't come up unless you're called. One wrong move, and you're a pile of ash. I understand. I'm not here to cause trouble. Just going over the rules. You've got a reputation, and we don't want any problems. Allow me to present Nemro the Hutt, the illustrious crime king of Jaguna. It's more than you're worth, you pile of slime. Not bad. Nemro, the adults here are real erodium. The cloth looks like... You couldn't pay me to touch your slaves. Of course, mighty Nemro. Kunamo Uban Chone Alipa East in Goto Gonjuta Kasu Yali Kura Tokandi Kong Looks like your audience with Nemro is over. You'll have to forgive the interruption. I've been working for that hut since he killed my gang when I was 13. Trust me, you can't talk to him when he's like this. Seems like your boss has some temper. Why stay with him? Because Nimrod's got power and smarts, along with his temper. I like things a little more orderly than he does, but I don't complain. We're having trouble with the Fathra clan, and it's getting to all of us. Fathra's out of line, but the hut cartel hasn't bothered to interfere. I'm not sure I understand. Why would the Hut Cartel be involved? According to cartel rules, Nemo and Fathra are supposed to stick to their territories. And Fathra's decided cartel rules don't apply. Now look, I need to work up new plans with security and keep an eye on Tathlajin to keep him from suggesting anything stupid. In the meantime, you're a guest and you've got our permission to do business here. You got the run of the palace, so I'll see you around.
Slow down, Agent. The listening device is working perfectly, and Nemro can keep no more secrets from us. Imperial Intelligence has determined that Nemro's human lieutenant, Carol's Jarvis, is the weak link in his operation. You're going to twist the man until he serves us. You're telling me I have to work with Nemro's thug? Carol's has advised the Hut for many years, and he's sympathetic towards the Empire. He admires our efficiency, and he prefers humans in authority. He'll do for our purposes. Unfortunately, Carol's is on the verge of disfavor with Nemro, while the Twi'lek Lieutenant Tafligen, I believe, is Nemro's rising star. I want you to go to Carol's and offer your services as the Red Blade. Do whatever is required to bring Carol's glory in Nemro's eyes. It's trivial enough, I'll handle it. Indeed you will. One other thing, Agent. This operation of ours has drawn the attention of a member of the Dark Council, Darth Jadus himself. The Council's authority is second only to that of the Emperor. It's a rare honor for an intelligence operation to be overseen in this way. I believe I understand, sir. I won't disappoint you. Report back once you've rendered whatever aid Carol's requires. Keep her out. I'm telling you, baby, I'm big time. Moving up, climbing the ladder. Don't be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me? Your old buddy, Dino Ray? Now, you haven't aged well since we met up on Hoth. Your nose and your skin. But you couldn't be an imposter. You know your friend Dino. Get out of my way. I'm doing business with Nemro now. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot about the Red Blade's visit to Hutta, which puts me in a bind. You see, you don't look like the Blade I know. The Blade who owes me credits. But you say you're the Blade, so I'll take you at your word and ask for my money. You understand? I understand, all right. You're a rat who needs to die. Is that so? Well, let's see what you can do, Blade. Blade, come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. Look, I've only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks, and I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? The Empire's a pain to deal with. I stay away from it these days. You're lucky to have that luxury. Not many of us do. The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts. Even if Nimro won't believe it. So, if we gotta pick a side, I wanna pick a winner. And I don't see the Empire losing. The Empire's got plenty of troubles. You think it's a guaranteed winner, you're fooling yourself. Maybe I am. I have reasons. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? You know Hutta pretty well, but you don't have my skills. I thought we could partner up for a job. Is that right? <laughs> Normally I wouldn't, but lately I could use someone who works alone and gets results. Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Yubokai lands. He blames me for some reason. 
Now the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right, I'm interested. And maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work camp outside Jaguna. Nimro set it up for some Evokai who wanted peace. Bad deal, poor rubes. The chief there, Odef, was supposed to talk to the other Evokai tribes about returning the ore, but he didn't come through. He knows something, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. But I look forward to seeing if the Red Blade's as good as they say. trick of the trade. Trust no one. You said you were going to get the ore back. I have done all I can. They, the other tribes, will not listen. If you say so. Hey, you the Red Blade. Heard you were coming. Thought we'd soften up the Chief for you. Any luck with your interrogation? Says he's real sorry he couldn't make a deal. That's about it. The other tribes, the Evokai who refused peace, it was it was they who attacked your shipment. You have given us homes and work. I I help you willingly. 
But the tribes will not return Nemro's medals. You think you can lie to me? You're probably working with the rest of the Evokai. Damn creep! I would not. I would not betray Nemro. The tribes, they stole the shipment to spite the huts and to use for themselves. They will make weapons, machines. They took the metals to their great village in the swamps. Only a beast or a shadow can enter. Seek the shipment there if you wish. Feel lucky I'm letting you live, Odef. Unless I find out you've been lying. You will not. I only want peace. All right, Chief. Let's get you a mid-pack or two. You've had a busy day.
Take a look at the stock. What can I get you? Appreciate your business. I know every trick of the trade. Trust no one.